Hi guys, my name is Teresa. Welcome to my channel. So this is going to be my fourth video in my series, Makeup and Myths. First, I did a story on Pigman Road, and then I did Gutelberg Cemetery, and my last story was on the Summit House in Lockport. And today, I'm going to be talking about the Holiday Inn in Grand Island, New York. So this is a pretty popular story in New York, well, in Western New York. And I don't know, I think I heard about this story since I was a kid. I know some friends have stayed at the hotel in hopes of seeing a ghost. Um, my friend Amanda stayed there, but she didn't experience anything. But there are stories out there of people experiencing seeing the ghost. Um, workers, managers, bellboys, maids have all have reportings of seeing ghosts. And I mean, it's a story for a reason. So it's located in Grand Island, New York by Niagara Falls. And the hotel was built, I believe in the 1973. I could be wrong on my date. Um, the hotel is no longer a Holiday Inn. It was changed to Balos. Balos. Um, I kept looking up how to say it, but I keep forgetting. Balos, like spa and resort. So the, the hotel still stands. It's just no longer owned by Holiday Inn, which is a chain um, of hotels. I don't know if they're all over the world, but I do know they're in the United States. So it's a fairly new establishment to have like stories of ghost hauntings. Usually that happens in older places. So the story goes, there's this ghost girl named Tanya. She's around eight or nine years old and she wanders the halls and she goes into the hotel rooms. People have said they've seen her playing with their children. She'll be running around and she wears all white. Well, legend has it back in the 1800s, there was a family, John Nice's family lived on the property. They had like a mansion and he had, him and his wife lived there with their 10 children. And one of the children's names was Tanya and the house burnt down and she died in the fire. So that's where the legend has it, where Tanya came up. So I found this story in my local newspaper. It was in the Buffalo News about a guy named John and he was staying the night at the hotel. And he was in his bed sleeping and he woke up to a young girl standing at the foot of his bed. He shouted, what are you doing here? You know, like, how'd you get into my room? And the little girl took off running into the corner of the room. So he flicked on the light and the girl was gone. Nobody was there. So he was pretty freaked out. He checked his doors to make sure they were locked you know, make sure nobody snuck into his room in the middle of the night. It was playing a joke on him or something. But the doors were locked. Everything was fine. So he went around asking because he was pretty spooked. I would be spooked too. And that's where he heard from the employees at the hotel of the ghost girl, Tanya. And I guess there are regular sightings of her. There's another story. Well, I guess this is when the hotel was getting some renovations done and the pool area was closed down and the pool was empty. There was no water in the pool. The whole area was locked. There was chains in the door to make sure no one got in. Well, there was a guest walking in like in the overpass. I guess there's like an overpass and you could look down and you could see the pool area. And the guy looked down and he said he seen a little girl running around in the bottom of the pool. And, you know, he was pretty like, what the hell is she doing there? So he like 
other people went to the front desk and was like, hey, there's a little girl running around in the, in the empty pool. You know, that's kind of dangerous. She could get hurt. So the manager of the hotel went to the pool, you know, made sure all the chains were still locked, went, opened it, and he didn't see anybody in the pool area, but he did see footprints at the bottom of the pool, child-sized footprints all over. Pretty creepy. Now, this story, I have some footage. I have a picture for proof. I'll insert the picture and you could figure out if you think it's a ghost child or not. But there was a family having like a party in the hotel's banquet room and they were celebrating their parents' anniversary. And they took some pictures, like they had a ton of pictures, you know how you take a ton of pictures and then you print them out and you send them out to family members, you, you know, everyone's looking at the pictures and somebody called and was like, hey, do you notice what's in that picture? And in the picture of the parents, they're kissing, you can see like a shadowy, smoky, like face right, uh, like right next to them. And apparently that's what people say Tanya looks like. That's like the sightings they see. So I think that's pretty interesting to actually have like footage and an actual picture of Tanya. I'm just putting on my blush from Ipsy that I got a while back. I actually like this. It's like a cool tone, like pinky shade. It's from Sugar. Yeah, if any products I forget to mention, I will link them into the description box. And then I'm gonna go into my Carly Bible Deluxe Edition from BH Cosmetics, which is no longer available. But I thought about using this because Carly Bible just came out with that palette with Anastasia Beverly Hills, which I want, I want really bad, but I just can't. This time of year is hard, like to buy stuff for yourself when you have Christmas coming up, my daughter's birthday, my boyfriend's birthday, my mom's birthday just passed, so I can't be buying stuff for myself. I just heard creepy noises coming from my wall. I don't know if it's my neighbor, because I do live in like a two family, but it just sounded like something was like crawling in my wall. Ugh, that's creepy. <laughs> All right. I'm still hearing it. So now we're gonna get into the part where I debunk the story and the myths. <laughs> I'm still hearing it. I don't know if it's my cat. Okay. I'm gonna set my face. Apparently, no child, like according to historians, no child has ever birthed to death in the house that stood where the Holiday Inn is now. The house that stood there was built in the 1830s as part of the White Haven settlement. It's like there was like a sawmill there and the house was a part of the settlement. and it was located on the East Niagara River. Like I said before, the first town supervisor, John Nice, bought the house and him and his 10 children and his wife all lived there. And according to his, like documents, none of the children were named Tanya. 
And later on in, the, in 1962, there was a restaurant there. And that restaurant did happen to burn down, but there's no reported deaths that happened at that restaurant. But if you think about it, like in the 1830s, who's to say something didn't happen at that house? Just because legend says that, you know, it was her name was Tanya and there was a fire. Who's to say something terrible didn't happen to a child in that house? I mean, the location of the hotel is on an, on an area, on a piece of land where things could have happened. There was a sawmill there. I'm sure there was a lot of deaths back in the 1800s. You know, things weren't as safe as they are now. Well, things still can be dangerous, but I didn't have the laws to protect, you know, workers and stuff. So who knows what happened? But I also forgot to mention, sorry, I'm always scattered brain in these videos, but I also forgot to mention um, Tanya it was also reported playing with children in the hotel. Like someone was staying in a hotel room with their their son and they woke up to see their son playing with a little girl at the foot of the bed and was like, uh, what are you doing honey? here, honey? I guess it was like around six or seven in the morning. And the little girl went into the bathroom and disappeared. And I feel like to have all these stories like so similar yes it could be people's imaginations yes it could be you know f like people like to sp tell spooky stories I don't know but I find it kind of a coincidence I don't know do you think it's a coincidence or do you think people are really seeing these things seeing this little girl Tanya like or do you think it's all in people's heads? Because some of these stories are, are coming from people, like from out of town. Because it's a hotel, people are staying. You know, a lot of people visit Niagara Falls. Niagara Falls is a huge attraction in Western New York. Well, around the world. It's like one of the seven wonders of the world. There's always people coming from all over, all over the world to see this hotel or in see, the, see Niagara Falls. So if some people do stay in Grand Island, um, it may, maybe the hotels are all booked up in Niagara Falls, so they go there. And people, you know, so, like these stories are coming from people who'd, who'd never heard of the local legend, and they're all seeing a little girl so I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you think there's truth behind these stories? Or do you think it's all just people's imaginations getting away from them? I don't know. After doing research, I think there could be some truth to this story. Um, Just because it all makes sense, like, being on the location that's at. And just because there was no, doc like I said before, no documentation of Tanya doesn't mean there wasn't a child in that house and something happened to her. She might have not been one of the children, but she could have been a family member, a cousin, who knows, you know? I don't know. I think it's just an interesting story. And I know there's a lot of videos on YouTube of people staying in certain rooms in the hotel saying that there's activity. I know I've seen some videos where people's lights have gone, flickered on and off, which could be electrical problem, but there's recordings, like video recordings of like them talking and like asking questions, I'm pretty sure, and it'll flicker on and off like it's answering. Now, side note, this palette is gorgeous. It's just a soft, pretty palette. I know there's a lot of dupes for this, but I just enjoy it so much. Just for like a soft mauve look, if you're into that type of look. Then I'm gonna go in with my Benefit Roller Lash, just a little sample size. Oh, is my wall stopped? That was weird. 
I hope an animal didn't get down there in the wall. Because I did have, um, a couple years ago, there was like a hole by the gutter and squirrels and stuff were getting into like the attic part of my house and I could hear it every night trying to claw into my um, bedroom ceiling. It'd freak me out. My cats would sit on my bed and stare up. So I guess there's usually a logical explanation for everything. <laughs> I'm just going to go in with this uh, Wet n Wild Ultimate Brow Highlighter for my lower waterline. I went to bed with braids in my hair to get these soft, I don't know, little waves. I think it's cute. So I was in the mood for a soft look. And this is my ColourPop Lippy and Alyssa. This was a part of the Kathleen Lights collab. I think it's a matte liquid lip. I can't remember if it's matte or if it's a satin finish. And I want to add a little more highlight. These highlights in this palette are beautiful. All right, guys. So that's my story on the Holiday Inn in Grand Island, New York. I don't know if you guys, did you guys ever hear of this story? And if so, if you have some information I left out, or if you have like some corrections to my story, or any personal things that have happened to you there, I would love for you to leave it in just the comments and either correct me or let us know your personal experiences. Um, also, if you have a, ho a hotel in your area that has legends, urban legends, I'd love to know what kind of like urban legends you have in hotels by you because it are places that people come and go. A lot of people stay, pass through. Um, so there could be a lot of interesting stories that happen at hotels. I don't know, guys. This completes my October makeup and myths. I kind of want to do something for Halloween, like a Halloween special. But I have had some requests to keep doing these. So I think going on, I'm going to do these stories once a month. Because I do take a little bit of work, like researching and stuff, and I do have a full-time job. So, but I will, like, if you came to my channel just for these, you know, makeup and myths, I will continue to do these once a month. So stay tuned to that. I'll be doing my research. And if, I like to keep it kind of local to me in my area, but if you have, like, say you live in New York and you have some kind of place you want me to do research on even if it's not in New York if it's like a popular urban legend urban legend by you I'd love for you to leave it also in the comments and I'll look through and I'll try to do a video on it if I run out of ideas because maybe I'll do something about like places like a makeup and myths like in a different country like in Europe somewhere or wherever you know like I could do all kinds of all kinds of things all kinds of themes and I don't know it's just fun or even I could mush a bunch together like about haunted towns or you know there's I don't know that the opportunities are endless like ideas of what can be done and if you do any types of videos like this tell ghost stories or anything let me know in the description box and I'll check out your channel or we can all who watch this can check out your channel. Okay, guys, I'll stop. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> but I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye. Oh, I always forget. Please like and subscribe. All right. Bye.